gentleman who should have been with us 12 months ago, but unfortunately his health prevented him from being with us, joins us tonight to finalise this event, Mr. Gordon Pigginson. And he's put his finger right across it and said, this is good, you know. 
And then he said, what do you do from now on? And that was a gentleman of his life when he was here. You had to know him to understand. Yes, exactly. And uh, he's sending his wishes about Jean or Jane. Now, who is here named Jean or Jane? Small living. Well, you know I don't know about the name. Oh, well, maybe you didn't have it. I know I'm right. Yes. Uh, so the proof is, and then the next time you go ever see me again, you stand up and say, you're right, Mr. Houston, you see the pop guy. So it's a 
name that you know. Is that correct? My name's Mary. Then there's a Mary on the other side. Yeah, I know Mary. Do you understand that? Yeah. Good. That's fine. I just want you to put it in the bed. <laughs> and there's a gentleman just arrived here. And you know the, um, the twig brushes, the twig things that uh, yeah. you use. You can come with one of those and say, do you want my help? <laughs> <laughs> and this uh, lady is here, is claiming to be a uh, mother, you know, the stepmother of what it is, it's there. Um, just wants to come here and say, oh, no, you don't need it. They like love to do it themselves, and it wouldn't be right if anybody else did it anyway. They still have to go and do it themselves. Do you understand that? Yes, I'm good. Are oh, you? Uh, <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, they wanted you to realize that they were there. There is someone that was killed in the war, the last war. And wishes to remember. And I have an idea that this was brought, it wasn't here, and it was during either a very big battle, because I can hear the airplanes here, and I felt that there was something to do with the sea, so they could have been in the navy. Now, does this make sense to you? No, I can't make sense. You're sure? Um, The name is definitely dangerous, but I can hear it. Does it make sense to you? No. All right, you have to accept it. That's probably for someone else. All right. On your hand, have you a ring uh, that has got a stone in it? Yes. But it isn't yours. It's belonged to someone else. That's been passed to you, hasn't it? I have a ring. Something to do 
with the addition of that of you, something like that. The risk of that. What does it mean? And um, I keep getting this name of Bryant, and something to do with Herbert and George. And um, I'm also getting the name of Gilbert. Is it Gilbert? 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 As a surname, that's what I think I've got. Does it make sense to anyone? And also, I can see Lawrence Road, or Lawrence Avenue, something with Lawrence in it. Yeah. Where are you? What does Lawrence Avenue mean to me? Pardon? Does the name of Bryant mean anything to you? And the name of, is it Gibson? Or Gilbert, something like that it is, as a surname. Um, I can take those connections, but not quite about. Where are you? <laughs> what is it? Well, hold on, don't say it all. Will you get that round and see what you can get? <laughs> Sorry about this. Does the name of Brian mean anything to you? Oh, wait a minute, darling. Only say yes or no. And no more than that. I, what you say will go into my mind and come out again. So only say yes or no to me. Um, can you pass it to us to say anything else? You can't. I see. We haven't catered for that. Yes. Oh, that's fine. Then now right. then, can you uh, tell me? Um, here, in the name of Brian, who was hurt? I don't know the hurt. I see. Um, and the name of Gilbert, or, or Gibson. Gibson. Yes. What does that mean to you? Yes. Now, yes. if so, did you know a lady by this name? I know a lady by the name of no, Gibson. Like, if you know that, is there someone there they call Herbert? I don't know. And George? I don't know. I have a feeling there's a link there, you see. And uh, because they keep talking to me about it, and um, I felt that I got another 30. Mrs. Gibson lives Oh, uh, uh, all right. In another 30. I have no idea. I see. But you do know enough that she lives there. She lives in Elizabeth Avenue. Right. Elizabeth Avenue. Yes. Right. Well, I have this gentleman, you see, that's trying to get through here and is talking about this and keeps saying to me here that she needs help herself. Did you know that? No. All right. Will you try to make a contact, if you can? Because it is important that she feels that she's not out of things, that she wants to be in things. That makes a lot of sense. It does. Well, if you will promise me that you will do something about that, and um, then ask her about Herbert, will you do that? I don't think because it is very evidential for her that she has this. There, and I'm quite sure that is this number 30 you see here that keeps coming up. Um, I'm also conscious of Lawrence Avenue and someone belonging to her with the name of Griffiths, because I can keep hearing this name of Griffiths there. Yes, my daughter. A daughter, that's it. Now, this is where we are, you see here. And it seems that there was a problem to do with this daughter. Because there seemed to be a situation uh, that happened uh, where uh, it, it was a, a material, probably, thing there. But it upset this lady I'm talking about. Does that make sense, do you think? Yes, it could possibly make sense. <coughs> right? Well, it is important. Now, your father has just arrived, and you know a bowler hat, don't you? Yes. But he's placed one on your head. And he says, you're always there, trying always to put things right. And you've got a job to do, and you have to carry on doing it. And so you've got to hold the fort and hold the reins. And I'm sure if you do that, you'll come through well. Would you remember that? But it is so important. There's a lady here, and she says to me here that she used to knit. And she's knitted dresses for you when you were younger. Yeah. Hand knit, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, you always had dresses that were for special occasions. Oh, yeah. And um, uh, so that you had everything for every day, but there were these 
special things that were kept, and they were handmade. Everything was made. Do you understand that? She's come to see you, and uh, they're talking about Jane in the spirit world, that they used to call Jeannie, or Jenny. That's my mother. That's your mother. They wish to be remembered to you. Do you understand that? And giving you her love. They want me to ask you what you were doing with your hair yesterday. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> no. Uh, she tells me that she saw you with something on the top of your head. Was this a towel of some kind? I put a little body oil on it. Oh, well, thank you. Well, then you've done it. You've put something on the top of your head. Is yes. this correct? Yes. Yes. Well, she wants to know what it was. It was not a body oil. Thank you. 
if it could be proven to do with that. Will you remember? But it was Blackstone, wasn't it? All right. Now, if what I got is um, right, and it usually is, um, <laughs> I did get it in this Carlisle Road to Carlisle Street. And I have someone here that's passed over by the name of Carter. I'm sure that's the name. Only say yes or no, nothing more than that, probably. Because I could go wrong if you say anything. I got someone that's passed over, he's a gentleman that is here, and he's talking to me about the state of Carter, and he's speaking of number 80, Carlisle, I'm sure it's Carlisle Road, but whatever it is, it's a birthday, and he wants to send birthday wishes here, and it's something to do with the family. And you must then have known this person named uh, Bozen that I have got. And um, uh, you have either advice or you visit, but something to do with this. And she's looking at you and saying, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Don't look behind you. There's nothing there. Will you remember that? And um, remember that they are very close there. Uh, I just got the name of um, Dean, dear, dear, Deal, Deal, someone named Deal, Deal, um, is a surname, and something to do with Winnie, Winnie Deal, Winnie Deal. Does that make sense? All right. Will you remember I gave it to you? And I must realize, you know, I'm anyway, just uh, a clue there. Um, I have a young man here, and. Uh, he keeps giving to me something to do with Stan. There must be someone at the back there that knows Stan. Excuse me, have you visited number 80 very recently? What's this two or three days ago? Your phone that lives there at number 80. Is that correct? Um, can I ask you, have they arranged to go by aeroplane somewhere and it's abroad somewhere? Have they spoken to you about it? Is there a son there? Is there a son? Pardon? He's got a baby son. Well, the grandfather that's here wants to be remembered because it's something about this son. Uh, that's brought them here. Is there a birthday to do with this or something in the present time that we would know? I see. Would you make a note of it and then uh, find out about it? Oh, and um, your grandfather who is there huh, um, has just uh, said to me, keep your chin up, keep your chin up, keep your chin up. Don't get, let it get down. No, don't get uh, down. Keep your chin up. All right. Will you just tell That's fine. Are you following me? Okay. <laughs> it's something to do with Stan, and something to do with, um, I feel I'm falling with you. So I feel that I was either at a height and fell. Could be off a building at some time. You seem to be working on a building and fell. And um, I got this name Stan. It's either there or up in here somewhere. It's got to be somewhere there. Does it make sense to anyone? <coughs> what does it mean? Oh, that's it. He fell, and he was named Stan. And it was a fall, wasn't it? The devil killed him. Yes? Very from a height. <coughs> Did it affect you in any way? Not then. But, but later on. That's the Because whatever it is, he's trying to tell me something about falling from a height of some kind. And that uh, whatever it was was something that definitely led to his passing, or else he wouldn't give it to me. Yeah. You understand that? Uh, but he told me his name was Stan. 
and the hotel standard, and that um, he was uh, making that contact. As I think of you are, there is someone here singing all the um, old tunes um, that we used to sing in the army. And um, where are you? You're there, aren't you? <laughs> and um, I can uh, hear this, but I was in the last one myself. You don't think I'm that old, do you? Right? <laughs> and um, um, I can hear all his own songs, you see here, and I feel that he was part of this sort of thing, because I can hear it going on as I'm talking to you. And there was someone named Bill. Were you? They used to call it that. Your problem. Well, if he's here, you see it here, and they've come together and oh. sent their best wishes to you. Now, please don't take this on, but they keep on taking your shoes off. <laughs> yes, and as they do, they massage in your feet. Are you having any trouble with your feet? No. No? Will you watch what I'm giving to you? And get the massage. Yes. I feel it is important that you do. All right. And, um, and if you do that, you hit the earth. You know, your feet is going to the bottom. <laughs> Oh, it's Jack. Yeah, Jack. Well, I mean, 